Hello all, welcome back to the video series of Smart Board. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a file on the Smart Board. Now, the files of the Smart Board have a special name called as Rolls. Why they are called Rolls? Because they have at max a space of 40 pages in it which can be rolled up and saved. Let me show you how to make a roll. Right now, when the screen has been started, when this smart board has been started, it will show me a default roll, unnamed roll. Whatever I want to, I write onto this, it will be saved as an untitled roll. Let me show you where is the roll browser. If I go to the bottom menu, I will see there are various options. I click onto this, and you can see there is a button called this menu okay there are three particular lines if i click onto this it will open up the menu items in this i can go to the roll browser you see once my shot touches to the screen it goes away so you have to be careful while touching the screen I click onto this roll browser, it will open up the roll browser and now you can see there are different roles which have been already created by the faculties of BVM Engineering College. You can, you see, you can surf through it. I can see there are various roles created by the faculties of mathematics. Yes, this rolling facility is so much useful to the faculties of mathematics because if they want to write long sums or the answers to long sums they want to solve long sums then this roll facility helps them a lot they don't need to erase it the whole sum will be recorded in one screen with a big roll and yes the rolling capacity is up to 40 pages you can see i can roll i can serve through i can scroll through different roles that have been already previously created and now this was my last role that we had created to show how to use internet and how to annotate it on a particular web page so let's close this up from this particular option you can close the opened up role i close this role and you can see new role has been created the previous role is automatically saved there are there is an option to save all the roles automatically so let's make a role let's start writing this is a let me change the color this is the color new role You can see I have written now just by changing the tip of the pen I can start highlighting. I can even change the color of highlighting by selecting a particular color from this. And now you can see I have changed the color of this highlighter pen. Now if I use the another tip then this color won't be there. It will show me the old color for this tip that I had selected. You can see this is the sharper, sorry, this is the pen tip. You see that? You can even adjust the size of the tip. There are three different sizes available for a pen tip and uh, for this particular also for highlighting also there are three different sizes available you can see so now i have made one file i have made a roll i want to write something more what i will do is i will select this part and move this so you can see this is page number two on which i am going this is the page two of my role 
Now if I start something, I will write, start writing something. This, let me change the tip size. This is page 2. Okay. And There is page 2, I can go to page 3, you can see I can scroll through the pages like this, so there is a seamless scrolling available through all the rows and once I save it, I just click onto this, it will automatically save it, okay, and I can go to the row browser to see what I have done in my previous row, you can see this role has already been created. I select this and yes, there it is. I can scroll it. See, I have to take care by scrolling also. If I don't scroll it from here and I scroll, try to scroll it from here, you can see it is wiping off my screen. So you will have to take utmost care by scrolling also. Okay. So that's how to make a role and how to use role browser. Thank you.